Привет, друзья, и добро пожаловать на «Русский со страстью». Сегодня мы поговорим с вами о дательном падеже, множественном числе существительных. Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to Russian with Passion. Today we will talk about the dative case plural of nouns, of Russian nouns. We have talked about singular already. If you want some extra information about when this case is used and how it is used, better watch this video devoted to singular, about the usage. Today I will just mention how and when the dative case is used, but mostly we'll focus on the plural forms of nouns in the dative case. First of all, let's briefly refresh our memory. The dative case is an oblique case. It means that it is not the nominative case. All the rest cases are called oblique cases because the forms change. The nominative case presupposes using the forms from the dictionary and here the forms change. Also, the name of the case, дательный, is derived from the verb давать, to give. And the meaning is enclosed with this verb давать, give. So the action is directed to somebody or something. The questions are кому, чему, to whom, to what, but this translation is rather rough. In addition, when you talk about oblique cases, you need to remember some verbs and prepositions which demand using the dative case, because sometimes it's not quite logical. But if you remember the prepositions and verbs, it will get much easier. Now, let's take a look at two examples. Я даю ключи моему соседу. Try to translate it yourself. I give the keys to my neighbor. One neighbor. This is singular. Let's make it plural. Я даю ключи моим соседям. Notice that the ending has changed. And that's what we are going to talk about today. One more example. Они хотят прогуляться по улицам города. They want to have a walk along the streets of the city, along the city streets. По улицам, соседям. These two endings, am and yam, are the endings of the dative case plural of nouns. Now let's take a look at the table and analyze it together. There are two general rules here. First of all, we add the ending am to masculine nouns ending in a consonant, neuter nouns ending in o, and feminine nouns ending in a. Most, mastam, akno, oknam. Коса, косом. Notice that the stress shifts sometimes, and we will talk about the stress shift in a separate video. However, notice that the word брат changes into братья. We have the soft sign, and that's why after the soft sign we use yam. The stem changes. The second rule. We add yam to masculine nouns ending in i kratke, mehki znak, and ya. Neuter nouns ending in je, and feminine nouns ending in ya or the soft sign. Kraj, krajam. Учитель, учителям. Дочь, дочерям. Стая, стаям. 
As for feminine nouns ending in the soft sign, it can be different. For example, doch, deciriam. Here the stem changes. But let's take the word noch, nacham. Pitch, picham. Also, notice that in some words the last letters are removed. Like in the word kraj, we remove ikratke. In the word uchitel, we remove the soft sign. And the same happens with akno, morje, and doč. As for the words kasa and staja, you can write that you remove a and ja and add the endings am and yam. The endings are still the same. Okay, that's it about the dative plural. I will make separate videos for you to practice putting the words into the dative case, genitive case and other cases as well. But that's it for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, press the button. It will help me. It will show me that you're interested and I need to make more videos. Also share and subscribe if you want to continue studying Russian with me. Happy Russian and English practice!